Welcome to the Information Elevator. This is Allison Laddermilk, Senior Editor and Science Editor Extraordinaire at HowStuffWorks.com, who you might guess from her vocation has an intimate relationship with words. For instance, she's slightly put off by the words slacks and crevice, but gives a pass to the word moist as a useful scientific descriptor. Allison is an avid runner, and perhaps as a nod to her ramped up metabolism, is known to scavenge the staff refrigerator for whatever she can find to eat, even a rotten banana or a five-day-old pancake. Perhaps she's thinking of the extraordinary job the mouth does when preparing, say, those raisins for their digestive journey through her body. But before we plunge into this gastric journey, let us note the way one end of the raisin ends in a scarred whorl, a kind of belly button, where like an umbilical cord, it once attached itself to something larger than itself, receiving nutrients and ripening under the sun. But now that the sun-fattened raisin has passed Allison's lips, it's facing a full-on assault in the form of enzymes in her saliva, which begin to break down the raisin and deliver it to the rough terrain of the papillae on her tongue, where taste bud receptors contained 50 to 100 taste cells. As enzymes loosen its membranes, the raisin releases aromatic gases, which waft over to the posterior nares in the back of the mouth and connect with Allison's olfactory receptors. Between the taste and olfactory receptors, Allison's brain is receiving a symphony of signals about her little raisin. Of course, there's more to the matter. The tongue, the hardest working muscle in your body, which continues to push saliva around even when you slumber in the night, can be considered the finger of the mouth. It skillfully directs food to its proper path. In the meantime, the exquisite sensitivity of your teeth can detect a grain of sand or grit 10 microns in diameter. This, along with jaw muscle control, exacts the right amount of pressure at the precise moment to masticate the raisin into a fine pulp. Congratulations, Allison. Your body is well on its way to obliterating the raisin, pillaging its energy for use in your next jog. Run, Allison. Run like the wind.